guys, I'm live. I didn't know I was going to go live today, but I decided that I needed to. So welcome. If you're watching or you're going to be watching, welcome. I have some Fred mail to open. And I normally, when I have Fred mail, I normally will do this on Fridays, but I decided to just go ahead, just go ahead and do it today because I have some errands to run tomorrow before my sale. So I wanted to go ahead and get all of this stuff open today. Hello, surprise. This is a, a, a impromptu live and I'm going to open up some boxes. I'm really excited. You will see why it's shortly. Hello, hi, hi Daniel, hi Lisa, hi Elise, hi Diane, Mama J, the thrifting librarian. Hi friends, hello, mother's mustache. Hello, my mother, my actual mother is Dairy 34119 she's here hello all right i have some friend mail first of all before i um show you or so before we start opening up i got four boxes i wanted to show you look at my beautiful hi lisa my dad should be on he was going to be coming over at some point who knows when but my friend alex chapter 2 vintage co sent me these earrings and the glass on the inside is made from recycled ball jars and I love them. Hello, Vintage Fine 61. Okay, so I have some boxes that I wanna open. Before I do, I wanted to let you know, well, hello, Jamie. It's a miracle you are already awake. Well, you have young children. Young children do not allow their parents to sleep in. You have a hair appointment at 11.30. Man, I had to reschedule my hair appointment and I'm go, I go on the 25th and these roots are growing in deep. So that's going to happen the 25th. Um, I am having my live sale tomorrow night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern. Tomorrow morning's video will be a preview, a, a sale preview. So you'll be able to see everything that I'm going to be selling tomorrow night, tomorrow morning. Jamie said her, my kids are sleepers. You know, Mike, well, Emma was a sleeper. Jaden, he wasn't. He is now, but he wasn't so much as a, as a young child. He was always my early riser. Okay, yes, thumbs up, thumbs up. Thank you, thank you. Um, I, I am going to be working, today I'm going to be working on, I have some shipping to do um, from people seeing things in the haul videos, and I'm going to film some hauls today. So that's what my day is going to consist of today. I have everything ready for Friday. Um, I just have to do some other stuff. When buying Venture Designer handbag, seller couldn't provide certification, said she got clear certification online. Is that a possibility? I didn't buy the bag. Yes, people, there are, I know that through, is it Thread, not Thread Up. Um, maybe it is Thread Up, but what's that other clothing thing you can you can do in an online appraisal which I mean I don't know I I I I don't sell designer handbags because I well I'm because you don't I mine are not certified they're certified the ones that that used to be mine I know that they are real but I just I don't get into that but however I am going to be asking you guys because I do have a storage tote full of purses and handbags. There are Coach, there are um, Dooney and Burke. There's like designer handbags. Most of them used to be mine that I need to get rid of. So I thought about maybe having a, I don't know. I don't know if you guys would be interested in or not, but like having a purse sale. Um, there you go. Um, Jeffrey and Barb are usually my Friday night date, so thanks to you. Yay! I get to be Daniel's date Friday night. Woohoo! Yay! The real real. That's it. The real real. Yeah, the real real is they do online authentic authentication. Did I say that right? But I, I think I'm, I got these purses that I need to get rid of. I'm no, I don't sell clothing and all that kind of stuff any longer. So I thought maybe I might go on Instagram 
and and have a live sale a handbag sale just because i really they're like sitting there staring at me and i need to get rid of them i also have vintage hats like hats so good morning christina okay so this first box i'm going to open is from my pal ellie ellie a she lives in california and she sent me some of these things um we we kind of worked out a deal so these things are going to be available for purchase in an upcoming live sale but i thought i'd go ahead and open them she packed them so nice i'll pull off a card but look she put she packed them put a little heart doily in there ellie that's a nice little touch so I will show you these things. I'm excited to see them too. Okay, the little card. Thank you for accepting. Uh, may it bring may it bring you a great profit. Please pre, please let me know. Thank you again, Ellie A. All right, I am excited to see all these things, Ellie. Oh, and Ellie, you packed them so nice. Hi, Charlotte. Interested in vintage bag. Yeah, and listen, I'm going to sell them for a good price because I need to get rid of them. So I will sell them for a price that you could, you know, if you wanted to resell them, you could. But that will probably, I'll probably do that on Instagram. We, we will see. Okay. Oh, okay, these are little boxers. There's a little boxer mama and a boxer baby. They don't exactly go, I mean, they're not, they don't go together, but I will probably sell them together. Hi, Cindy J. Aren't they cute? So we've got those. Oh my gosh, they're cute. This is a box of stuff that I had worked out a deal with LEA. And so all these things will be available for resale in an upcoming live sale. But I wanted to get the box open. But I have three more boxes of friend mail to open. Hi, Helen. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead while we're, while we're just sitting here chatting. Make some more people moderators. So, yeah, my sale is tomorrow night if you haven't already sent me your information to register you can do that now oh this one's cute it's a little basset hound isn't he cute i moved my little girls over that i got from fat bird finds then Hi, Patricia. Hi, Vanello. I did so. I'm just. I just decided. And oh, Elise, you just have to send me an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail .com, um, with your actual, well, your YouTube name, your actual name, your full shipping address, and your PayPal information. Hi, D. I'm opening up some friend mail and um, a package that I got from Ellie for resale. Oh, this one's a little collie. Dogs are good. Hi, Tammy. The feed is grainy. Do I look grainy to you guys? Let me know. Let me know if I look grainy. I looked at this and I saw this. I thought this was a roll of toilet paper. It's not. Open carefully. Oh. <gasps> It says a small pup and inside is a gift. What? Gotta open this one carefully. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay. So this actually, the thing that I'm going to be, that I'm opening right now is good. It actually does hold toilet paper. Wait till you see it. Oh my gosh. It's the most bizarre thing. But look. It holds a single roll of toilet paper, but it's got a puta snooda. It's got a puta snooda on it. And it, it just holds a single roll of toilet paper. Isn't that weird? See, that's the kind of things that I like. Oh, everything's in here is so nice. 
Happy Valentine's Day, Misty. This is a gift for you, love, Ellie. Isn't that cool? Oh, Ellie, look how cute. She wrapped this. I don't want to... I'm going to reuse this ribbon. No end. Oh, these are cute. Oh, they're little. They're little pilgrim salt and pepper shakers. I'll add these to my collection with all my turkeys. Thank you, Ellie. I love those. And see, he's got little chips on his hat, but I don't care. That does not bother me in the least. I'm going to put those kids back there. Thank you, Ellie. Your granny always loved the toilet tissue hiders. Now, I have seen like crocheted ones, you know, but I've never seen a hard plastic one like that. Oh, this one's going to be this little pup, pupper. Oh, he's another little, I think he's a little boxer too. A little bone china boxer. Someone must, oh, oh, you want me to show it to you, D? Well, people, you know, I sometimes, when I do, when I put out videos that are premiere, I'll get a thumbs down before they even seen the video. So, it happens. It, I don't care. It doesn't bother me a bit because, look, D, it's a toilet paper, a single toilet paper holder with a Pluta on it. It doesn't bother me because it's engagement. So, you know, you have to look at it from the lens of... You know, they are giving you a thumbs down, but they're actually helping you. So thank you for that. And when they people leave a comment that might not be a very nice comment, well, that's still engagement. So thank you for helping. Thank you for helping. You could just be negative and live a miserable life. Okay, this is really cool. Are you ready for this? I'm really excited to show you this. I think you guys will like it. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, I'm about to drop my scissors. Just wait. It's going to be worth it. I can get the bubble wrap off of him. Okay, it is a da an art glass Dalmatian. An art glass Dalmatian. It's Fifth Avenue Crystal LTD. Look at him. He's so cute. And he's a big guy too. He's neat. I really like him. Ooh, isn't that pretty? He does have like a little rough spot down towards the bottom of him. But other than that, he's in great condition. He's a big fella. Oh, I set you over there next to your dog buddies. So thank you, Ellie. It all arrived safe and sound. Safe and sound. Okay, let me see here. You're drooling over here. I know, and he's cute. So cute. And I like, and it's like it was a dog box. It was a box of dogs. Oh, and I've got bubble wrap on me. Okay, this next box is from Tina Reed from Salinas, California. The box from Ellie also came from California. So this is from Tina. Oh, and she put a cute little baby. Baby. Do you guys watch um, Schitt's Creek? We're on, I think, season five. We've been watching it. And I like how the mom says, baby. Because their neighbor, the mayor's wife, just had his, the baby. So she's like, oh, she's with baby. Okay. 
I'm trying to get this box open, guys. Talk, among, talk amongst yourselves. We're all gearing up for Michelle's sale today. She's going to go... Michelle Comfy Cozy Living sale is today at um, 1 Eastern, but she's going to go live a half an hour beforehand to have a chat. Chat. Oh, I love Schitt's Creek. It's so good. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm a little scared because, first of all, I'm not going to look at it yet. It says, hey, Misty, turn me over. Oh, I thought maybe it might have been a clown on this side. That Look at that. That's a goofy guy. Hey, Misty, turn me over. So I took, oh, look at those little stickers. Those cute. Oh my gosh. I'm doggone crazy over you, Valentine. Dear Misty, the first thing, oh, the first thing I want to say is, Thank you. You've been such a, such a, I can't speak, such an inspiration to me. I've been watching you and your videos for such a long time. You really are a bright spot in my morning. You and my morning coffee are a must. You are such a delight to watch and I've learned so much from you. You are a, such a hoot and my kind of weird. I've just recently taken the plunge and opened my very own eBay store. Oh, yay, Tina. I'm hoping you can give me and my store a shout out. I would appreciate that so much. As you as you know, being a newbie is hard. Yes, it is. I, and it can be frustrating at times. I hope you like the goodies that I have sent. It's just a small way to say thank you. I'm wishing you a loved-filled Valentine's Day. Big hugs and joyful wishes, Tina. My store name is Tina's Trove of Treasures. I will... I'll put this in the description, but Tina's Trove of Treasures. I'm going to uh, check Tina's store out when I leave here because it's always fun to go check out people's stores and what they're selling because you might find something that you've been looking for. Um, you can find my store under Pogo Mama at eBay. I'll put all this in the description. Um, we can discuss how I got that name at another time. Just use your imagination and have fun with it. I like the way you think, Tina. Oh, this is so sweet. I'm excited. I love that. I'm going to keep that. Bubble wrap. Yes. Don't you like it when you can use all this bubble wrap again? Because bubble wrap's expensive. Oh, look at the inside. It's so pretty. You live 15 minutes away from the motel they live in Schitt's Creek. Oh, my gosh. Did you ever... um? See any of them? Like any of the the stars from the show? Oh my gosh, it's they're so I love that show so much. It's very easy to watch. You know, it's very easy to watch. With everyone doing live sales, how would one choose a time to start them? Well, good luck, Daniel. Um you know, there is a calendar out there that you can look at, but at the end of the day. Oh, Alex just went live too? Is she live right now? Dang it, I hate it when we do that. We need to, we need to, uh, I thought, I've even talked to her this morning, but I just, I didn't realize. I just thought, oh, I'm just going to go live. Oh, crap. Well, you know, you can watch both of us. Or go watch Alex now, and you can watch me later. Friend mail. Well, you know, great minds think alike. <laughs> we do need to coordinate. A Alex is my girl. Look, Alex, chapter two, vintage code. And she sent me these earrings. I love her. She's one of my nearest and dearest friends. But, you know, we, we think very similar, you know. Um, so, you go watch Alex now and you can watch me later. I'm, I'm fine with that. Absolutely fine with that. Or you can put us both on two different devices. You could do that too. Um, but as far as having the live sale, at the end of the day, you just, you kind of just have to do what's best for you. If it fits into your schedule, do it. You know, 
I will say though, it does take a while to build up a little bit of an audience. And if you have a, a certain style or a certain niche, people are going to be kind of gravitate towards, you know, some of the things that you are selling. So it does, don't get discouraged. It does take a while. Live sales are not for everybody. Um, but you know, you just kind of have to go live when it's convenient for you. I always say, you know, we aren't work, you know, we work for ourselves for a reason. I'm not working for a calendar. You know what I mean? Like I'm not, I appreciate that the calendar is out and it lets people know, lets the viewers know, but at the end of the day, I have to go live when it's convenient for me. And Alex and Michelle, we, we've all had this discussion. Whatever works in, into your schedule is just what you kind of have to do. And, you know, this that's the great thing about this community. We're all so supportive of one another. We know that we, we all just got to, you know, we're all trying to do this and we're all trying to, you know, make money and this is how we earn our living. And, you know, you just kind of have to do what you have to do. So I always say, look at the calendar, but don't let that determine it, when you go live or when you do something. All right, the first thing that Tina had sent to me is this really cute, Katie, I don't know if Katie's watching, but Katie, look, it's a Snoopy little thermos. And this is dated 1965. Do you remember these? I remember that my mom used to put SpaghettiOs in my lunchbox. And it would this would keep it warm. It's like a little soup thermos. But how cute is that with Snoopy? Hi, Tiger. I'm opening up friend mail. Oh, look at that bright pink boo. I'll save that. These are all from Tina. Tina in California. Hi, Chrissy. Pamela. Oh my God. <gasps> okay. Now, I think I had just talked about one of these not too long ago. I had one of these. I had one of these as a child. Wait, just wait. I gotta smell it. It smells like I remember it smelling. But it's this little baby. And you turn her head and she's different emotions. She's happy. She's mad. And she's upset. This is me when people put stickers over ephemera. It smells like I remember. I smell things. I'm weird. I'm a smeller. This says it's made in Hong Kong. This is vintage. I had this! Mom, if you're watching, do you remember me having this? I had it. It goes with the rest of my little emotional babies. I love it. I Oh, well, that's sweet. I know scents do have a memory. Oh, I gotta separate all this um, bubble wrap so I can use it again. Oh, here's another one. Like, do you guys remember the smell of, like the smell, I I used to get Trapper Keepers. I'm a child of the 80s. Tra you get a new Trapper Keeper every year. Boy, I wish I still had all my Trapper Keepers because they're worth a lot of money now. But that smell of them, the smell of a trapper keeper. And I would like smell the folders and it's weird. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Hang on a minute, I gotta get it open. Strawberry shortcake, yes. Oh my gosh, I do not have this one. This one's different. You actually, Tina, you actually got me one I don't have. I don't have one with this guy on it. Reuben Adhesive. Oh my gosh, I don't have that one. Oh yes, a smell of Cabbage Patch Kids. They smell like baby powder, kind of. Lisa Frank, Trapper Keeper. Listen, I found a Trapper Keeper at the in the bins a couple years ago and it it still had all the original folders in it it was it was like it was brand new at the bins and people like it wasn't 
I wait till the dust settles. I haven't been to the bin. Well, we went to the bins when we went to Clarksville for like 25 minutes. And then we were like, now, nah, okay, we're going to leave. But, you know, we used to go often. And um, I'd always wait till the dust settled because I'm not all about getting in all that mess that, of people. But, um, so it had been like looked at, looked through. And it, I sold it for about $75 on eBay. I got it at the bins. Oh, we weren't we weren't rich kids. My parents, my dad worked for for um, General Motors, so I mean we lived comfortably, but we weren't rich by any means. But I did get a new trapper keeper every year. Oh, oh. actually, some years I think I had if it was if they were still in decent condition, then I had to use it the next year too. Okay. Okay, I can't get this baby open. Come to me, baby. This is a cutie. I have started my own little weird shelf at home. Oh my gosh, of these dolls. This one's is Jesco, made in China, 1991. Now it's naked. Look, it's a little heart. Look at that side eye and their little wings. <gasps> this is so cute. It's a little butt. Oh. Oh, you worked at GM for 25 years? My dad retired from General Motors. My um my father-in-law retired from General Motors. I worked at the factory for a summer. So did so did Mark. Um and like grandparent. I mean, we 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 lived we we're from a General Motors town. So that's where a lot of people were employed. What is a trapper keeper? A trapper keeper is a folder thing that has Velcro on it and folders and stuff in it. So like you would keep your paper and your folders. It's like a binder. It's a binder basically. Yeah, it's a cute binder. Look, give me my hug. Oh. He's going to go with my shelf of babies. Oh, Tina, this is so fun. What's in the next package? Oh, my. This is a box full of joy. But you just wait. You just wait. I'm I'm dying here. Will you? And you'll find out. Oh, my gosh. Look at the keyboard elf. It's the Keebler Elf. I can smell them. So weird. Keebler, 1974. It's a little Prixie. Well, he's kind of more of an elf than a, than, a, than a pixie. But, oh my gosh, he will look cute in um, St. Patrick's Day stuff. I love him. He was probably like a promotional thing. You're going to lay you right next to the little baby. She did wrap things so nice. Look at that. I'm going to recycle it all. Can't recycle the tissue. Actually, I will. Do. I'll put the tissue paper in my scrap paper bin, and I just use it, and I'll tuck it in other things. I know. Isn't that great for St. Patty's Day? Hi, Sean. Oh, Sean, I need to. There we go. I'm just making bits and truths. Some are better than others. There are nuggets to be found, and you have to like to dig. Oh, the bins? Yeah. <gasps> okay, squeaker alert. <laughs> I collect these. Little, little known fact. Well, maybe. I mean, it's not that much of a stretch of the imagination that I collect these little squeaker bunnies. <laughs> This one is um, a share, no, Shankly Products from California. It's a little small wonder bunny. So at Easter time, I have on the top of one of the shelves at my house, I have a whole army of these squeaker bunnies. And everyone hates them in my family but me. I love them. <laughs> He's super cute. These, these are so nice. They're so nice. All right, and then there's a little packet here. Look 
making sure I got everything. A little packet here. Let me cut this open. Tina, you wrapped everything just so nice. Oh my gosh. Look at these. Oh my goodness. They're little um, ornaments. They're little heart people. And they're made out of um, the old pipe cleaners. Those are cute. And her little dress hat is made out of a, like a, almost like a cupcake thing. Oh, good. You know, wrapping things up, you don't have to do that. You really do not have to do that. It, it isn't, a, it, it, you don't have to. Um, if you, you, you use the tissue paper and stuff, I have found a tissue paper that I really love and it's a little pricey, but I just, I like the way that it feels when I'm, I'm just, I'm weird. I'm very much a textural person. So this specific tissue paper, I like the way that it feels. I like the sound that it makes. And, but I do, I cut it in half. It comes in pretty big sheets. I cut it in half and I make it go as far as I can. Now, I don't wrap everything in tissue paper. Sometimes I'll just put some tulle around it. And everything that I find, I either find, I'll buy it in bulk off of Amazon. And, or I have found it at Goodwill. You know, the bat, the grab bags, you can find ribbons and stuff in there. Um, and yard sales. So, I mean, it just... It makes it look nice. I mean, you can even get brown craft paper. I've got rolls of it from Lowe's. It's just brown craft paper. And you can wrap something in brown craft paper. You know what I mean? You don't, you could wrap something in newspaper and put a piece of tool around it. You, you can get kind of creative, but it's just something that I feel when you're shipping something out and someone opens something, just the fact that they're opening something, if they've treated themselves to something, they're, they're getting like a little present. And that, that just makes everyone feel nice. So it isn't something that you have to do at all, but it's just a nice touch to do. Um, so I don't know. And this tissue paper, you can get it seasonally, it'll go on sale. So I bought it, like I bought Christmas, tissue paper that I'll use next Christmas. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I consider these cupies, but they're a pack of stickers and they call them the pudgy kids. The pudgy kids. I can relate. I look just like that. Look, there's me right there. Oh my gosh. These are adorable. Die cut pressure sensitive peel off pudgy kids. They're dated 1988. Ah, oh, those are cute. Cute. I don't want this box to end, Tina. Look at the little, the little stickers. Oh my gosh. Oh, so this is, oh, so this is a Thomas Kincaid and it's, um, let me show you the picture. Can anyone guess what this is a picture of? Does anybody know? It is autumn on Mackinac Island. And it's so funny because I was just saying that I, I really want to go to Mackinac Island this fall. Because I've never seen it in the fall. And I, want, I bet it looks just like that. Oh, my mom just sent me, well, she didn't just send it for me. She sent it for, you know, Mark and the kids and my dad too. Because my, my mom and my dad are, they talk every single day on the phone. They're, they're really good friends. So she sent us some um, fudge from Mackinac Island. And it's good. It's very good, but it, it isn't the same as getting it there. It's a very close second because when you when you're when you're on Mackinac Island, you get it right then when it's made right then. 
You know what I mean? And so it's, I don't know. It's just, it's magical. It's magical. Well, Pete, you were, you were right if you would have guessed that. All right, the last little envelope. Oh my gosh, has some more of these little stickers. That looks like a little Yorkie. Oh, and there's a little kitty cat. Lisa, did you make these stickers? I wonder if you made these. Oh, wow. And this is a little souvenir. A little souvenir um, postcards, small postcards of um, the UP. Now, I, I was born and raised in Indiana. Oh, these are vintage too. But I am a, a youper at heart. Oh, wow. Arch Rock. There's Arch Rock. Mackinac Island. You know, you used to be able to climb up to the top of Arch Rock. I mean, like a long time ago, not in my lifetime. They've, they've fenced it off. I guess that, you know, they considered that to be a little dangerous. But, yep, yeah, there are old-time pictures of people climbing to the top of Arch Rock. Oh, man, I'll have to look through all these. Oh, St. Ignat. I wonder if the stupid Sioux Locks are in here. I'm sorry. I don't like the Sioux Locks. I'm, I, I, I know that they are a marvel, but I, don't, I hated going there. It was boring. And I was a child that did not have a very long attention span and who cares about the, the 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 Sioux Locks? I didn't. I didn't care. We had to go there every year. But I I love these. I'll sit and look through them. Miniatures in color. This would be neat to make a like an art thing with. Just don't go too late in the fall. Everything is closed. Yeah, I'd like to go like the very first of October, I think. I'm going to see if I can make that happen. Hopefully we can this year. Hopefully we can. Thank you, Lisa. That was fun. I didn't want that box to end. I mean, you know, I don't want any of the boxes to end. But this was, this was fun. Oh, I did I say Lisa? Tina. Thank you, Tina. I'm sorry. I kept calling you Lisa, but you are Tina. Thank you, Tina. Thank you, Tina. I love everything. You, it's like you're in my head. You know exactly what I like. And you sent, you sent them all to me. So you hit all the nails on the head. Tina, thank you. Uh, the Sioux Locks, yeah. But what is that? The Tank Mum? I can't say that. I've never heard of that. I need to look that up. Is it in the UP? Okay, this next box is from Marcy Guts Guts Cell. Marcy, gosh, Marcy. I'm horrible at saying people's names. I'm sorry. We're just gonna call her Marcy G. Marcy G's in the house. Hi Mariah. Did you ever sell flatsy dolls and little kitty dolls? No. It'll little kitty dolls? No. Okay, it's up in the UP. The Sioux Locks are, it's basically like where the, the water levels would go up and down when these big barges would come in to unload their stuff. I don't real, you know, you can tell that I just really wasn't paying attention, but it was boring to me. And I remember my parents were like, if you're a good girl, you don't complain, then you might get a goodie. You know, I, I was that kid that had to be bribed. Now, if you're a good girl, if you don't complain, if you don't, you know, then, then we'll, we'll do something fun later. Oh my gosh, Dorothea Hoptenfleisch. Hoptenfleisch. Man, that was bad, Dorothea. I'm sorry. I tried. I gave it a good go. 
All right, so this is from Marcy. It says, this card is the town in which I work. Thought it would be neat to use for a note. Inside is a, wait, inside is a Santa Land mug, a Lusterware bunny shaker giving the side eye. Thought you would enjoy these. Your videos make me giggle. Keep putting them out. Your friend Marcy. So Marcy lives in, oh man, I was say Cooter's Cooter Sport. That's not right. She lives in. Well, she doesn't. She doesn't live here. She works here in Cooter Sport, Cowder Sport. It's in North Central Pennsylvania. Doesn't that look like like a scary movie? They're like doing a a view of the town before havoc happened. I'm going to Pennsylvania this spring, just so you know. Hopefully. Cooter sport. That's not how you say it. That is completely wrong. But that's where that's where Marcy works. That's the town in which she works. All right. Oh, there's all this good paper in here. Marcy gave me some good paper. I consider the paper and the ribbons and all that part of the gift because it saves me money. gosh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is a Jackson China from Falls Creek, Pennsylvania. It's a restaurant wear mug with holly leaves on it. Santa Claus Land. Santa Claus Land. Santa Claus Land is in Indiana. And this must have been a restaurant where from one of their restaurants. And it's now called Holiday World. It will never be called, I will never call it Holiday World because they've incorporated other holidays. Like there's Halloween and Thanksgiving, 4th of July. I don't know that there's Easter, but it'll always be Santa Claus land. But oh my gosh, look at that. Ooh, it's gonna go in my collection. And there's a little bunny, a little bunny. There's a Christmas Mich Michigan, yeah. And isn't that where like the big, um, the big Christmas ornament, store is. Is that where that's at? Oh my gosh, this is precious. Oh, look at him. He is giving some side eye. Look at how cute he is. I kind of like him like that. It looks like his eyes are rolled back in his head. Okay, Frankenmuth. <laughs> I'm saying that wrong too. Frankenmuth. Bronner's. Oh, I, I love him. Oh, he's so cute. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Marcy. I, I love it all. I love it all. Frankenmuth. Muth. I do too, Elizabeth. Anything Santa and little baby animals is good. Okay, guys. Let me just tell you, if you know me, you know that who, who do I love? Who is my, I mean, I love all my YouTube friends, but who is my ultimate favorite YouTube content creator? Let me see if you can guess. Does anybody know? Does anybody know? I love you all. But I have one that I just kind of have fangirl moments over. Let me know. I see. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it is. It's Liz Retros. Now, I listen. I love Alex. I love Michael. I love Jeffrey. I love Jocelyn. I love Michelle. I love all my YouTube fam. But I got a box today. 
from Liz Retros. From Liz Retros! I got friend mail from Liz Retros. So I just about died when I saw this in my P.O. box. So I was pretty excited. I am pretty excited. I don't think she's watching. She lives in um, near Seattle. So it's very early. But, and that's why I was like, I have, I cannot wait to open this. I cannot wait. So I have to do this now. Oh, I'm so excited. Jeffrey isn't here for me to smack. You know what it is? Joanne, you know what it is? Oh, I'm so excited. I need to go ahead to and ooh, what's happening? I'm trying to do some moderator things. Okay. Look at this. Look, there's a lady. She's a lady. Oh, it's, it's wrapped up in, in, in Liz Retro's wrap. Liz Retro's wrapped this. Liz Retro's. I love her. If you are not subscribed to her channel, go subscribe to her channel. She's lovely. And she is funny. Funny. This is... And she wrote me a note. She wrote me a note. Joanne. Joanne knows what it is. And she doesn't want to spoil it. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Thought you might like some of these salt and peppers. They are yours to keep, sell, or gift. Enjoy. Love your pals, Mr. and Mrs. Retros. Ah! I'm going to frame it. She sent me a recipe book. Your Crossley Electric Range with a big old hunk of meat on there. It's from both of them, I know. Cooking on your range. Ooh. You know, don't ev doesn't everybody cook like that? I know, I do. Oh, well, thank you, Miss Retros and Mr. Retros. Oh my word! Okay, where's my scissors? These are, oh my gosh! Look at the anthropomorphic! Now, are these pears? Are they, are they oranges? Pumpkins? Pumpkins? Oh my gosh. Look at... <gasps> I, 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 I think I, I have some videos I need to get caught up on. I have been watching Bridgerton. That's taken up my YouTube viewing pleasure. Tomatoes? But that looks like a pear. But they are, they are one. So if you wanted salt, boop, boop, boop. If you wanted pepper, boop, boop, boop. Because their little holes are on the sides. Ooh. Bridgerton is very good. I watched the whole series. I didn't want to. Oh, these are good too. She got these for the Habitat for Humanity store. Well, I'm telling you, if you have a Habitat for Humanity, go check it out because you can get things for, for free. <laughs> I've got things free in there. They have hard goods in there. These are cute little fruit baskets made in Japan. Those look kind of look like pumpkins too, maybe. She said, I got these for a friend and they looked like you would get, okay. Was it in her video? Cause I haven't seen her latest video. I need to get caught up. I'm gonna do that today. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, these are cute. Look, they're little nuggy birds. They're little nuggy birds. Ooh, they're little nuggy birds. 
and they have their stoppers. Those are adorable. My gosh, this is full. Oh my gosh, Liz Retros. She sent me some treasure craft. What? Look, it's a, it's a road runner from Arizona. And they are treasure craft. Oh my, Mr. and Mrs. Retros. These are great. Oh, I think I had this one turned around. <gasps> mm. <laughs> Whew, I got a big pile of paper down here. What's this one? Oh, these are little, they look like little monks, but they do not look happy. They're Japan. I think they're little monks, but oh my gosh. Look at his face. He is having none of it. This guy looks derpy. And he's got a little paint missing on his tukus. These are made in Japan. Cute. Oh, and this reminds me, I'm going to take this moment also to remind you all that Alex and Chapter 2 Vintage Co., so make sure that you subscribe to her channel, and D, The Thrill of the Thrift, I think she's in here. The thrill of the thrift. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the um, the notification so you'll be notified. But they're having a live sale tonight on, um, I think it's at 6 Eastern. Correct me if I'm wrong, D. 6 o'clock Eastern um, on D's channel, the thrill of the thrift. So you'll have to go and check that out. Oh, these are cute. I will be there. Oh, look at their little golden fishies. Oh, look at those. Their little golden fish. Angel fish, maybe? Those are cute. You know, the last person to touch these was Liz Retros. <laughs> so weird. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh my. These, they're little chipmunks. He looks like a, he, he looks like he's got low hanging boobies, but I think those are his legs. He is so happy, and she looks a little concerned. But they're little chipmunks. Oh my gosh! Look at how cute they are. Uh, oh my gosh! Perfecting pearls. Yes, she has a sale today at. Three, I believe, or four Eastern. Michelle's sale today is at one Eastern, and she's having, she's going to be on half an hour earlier. <gasps> Those are so cute. Yeah, she's like, um, who is this man with the low hanging boobies? Why is he sitting here next to me? Oh my God. There's so many of them in here. I'm just like flipping out. Look at this. This is a bulldog wearing an army hat. And with another little dog peeing. Well, he doesn't look like he's peeing yet. Look, he's got an army helmet on. He's a yellow bulldog with an army helmet on. Well, those are different. Look at his teeth. He Maybe he's gar maybe this is his fire hydrant. And this little creep is... Coming in on his territory. Those are cute. Goodness gracious. Oh, these are cute too. These are also little nuggy people. Oh, bye, Cindy. Look at these little, what is he holding? Oh, he's holding flowers. Oh, they're sweet. They are sweet. They have sweet little faces. He's a little pudgy. I like him. He's a little chubby guy. 
I'm going to have to stop sleeping in order to watch all the live cells. I know. There's a lot. And I always say you can pretty much at any at any point in the day, you can go onto YouTube and just hit subscriptions and whoever's live will show up. There, there's usually always somebody live. There. Oh, these are cute too. They've got like, these people have a weird look on their faces and I like that about them. Oh my. <laughs> I love their collar. They are not amused. They are sick of one another and they have had enough. And she's got a number on her back. But look at how cute those are. Hi, Mary. Why are chubby babies so cute? I don't think chubby anything is cute. He he's got a little he's got a round little belly on him too. Chubby babies are cute. You know who the who the chubbiest baby was was Emma. Emma was the chubbiest baby. She was the chubbiest baby. She came home from the hospital in a size one diaper. Did not wear newborn diapers. I had all this newborn clothes for her. She didn't wear any of it. Not any of it. Oh, these are different. I'm really loving all the colors that are on here. Hello? These are really different. Little Hispanic couple. He's like, he looks like he's gotten in trouble. And she was like, you sit there and think about what you've done. Sit there. These are different. I've never seen these before. Those are pretty. I know. I, I, then Jaden was born and he was, I mean, he was, like, Emma was 10 pounds. Jaden was 7, 11. He was, he looked like a bird. Ooh. I don't know if his partner's in here yet, but look! We've got Salty! Salty the kitty cat! Salty's hats. Ooh, Salty's full of salt. He is salty. We'll dump that salt out later. You know what? We'll dump it on the sidewalk because it's icy here. Yeah, Jaden always looked like a bird. He's just a skinny little thing. Ooh, what are these? Oh, these are cute. They're little angy dogs. They're so angry. You know, doesn't it make you wonder? Like, these were made in Japan, so they were painted in Japan. And it's like, why did they make everything so angry? Like this, are, did their interpretation of Americans were all angry, angry dogs, angry people. He, they look, look like they got little Fu Manchu mustaches too. Those are cute. Oh my gosh gracious, Liz, Mister. Ooh. Oh, these are angry too. Angie, Angie. These are birds. They are the, what does that say? The Uyker brothers? I don't know. But look at them. They're luster. Little toucans. They are angry too. He is like, I hate everybody. Oh, she did. She wished she kept her cat salt and peppy earlier. Ooh, well, you know what? I have some extra ones. I might have to send Alex another set. Oh, these are cute. Now, after we're done, I'll be like, Alex, we both went live at the same time. Jeffrey did that. Jeffrey and I did that on Saturday. It happens. Oh, wow. These are Shawnee. I have, I have a set of these, but these look bigger. 
These are like Barb. These are the winking owl. Do you ever remove comments from your videos that are weird and creepy and make no sense? Yes. You know, this is my theory. You, it's your channel. You can remove anybody's comment if you do not like it. If you don't like it, I've removed controversial comments. I don't, there's no place for that in, in on my channel. You know, there's just not. Um, I, you know, I, the people watching your video makes me sick. I get vertigo. I'm taking that off too because that's being negative. And I don't, you, it's your channel. You can decide what is on, what's on your channel. And I don't want any, there is no room for people bringing their negativity on to my channel. You can also put filters in so you can have words that are filtered through so they will not show up anyway. Like you might want to put on like asks, you know, there's certain, there are certain words that you just, you don't want, you know, I might put nauseous as a word because, you know, I'm still getting used to this camera. The past several videos that were shop with me videos, we, I filmed them all in one day and my settings were wrong on the camera. So they were all, I mean, trust me, I was editing them and I was like, ooh, eek, but what are you going to do, <laughs> you know? So uh, it, it, it happens. I buy, you and Alex had the same troll in your chat now. Oh, well, doesn't surprise me. Sometimes they're a club and they all hang out together. Um, yeah, I agree, Mickey. Yeah, I mean... <sighs> I, I don't claim to be professional anything. I'm not a professional anything. Uh, I There's a lot of things that I don't know. I learn every day. I have a good eye for things, I think. I have, an, I have a good sense of what my customers want and what will sell, but I don't know. I, I'm not an expert on anything. I've, I've, I was raised in an antique store, but there's still so much that I don't know. You know, I only kind of focus on the things that make me happy. Like glassware didn't really make me happy, so I didn't really focus much about it. But I'm learning. Um, and I think that's, we, we all learn. That's what, that's what this whole community is about. We all learn from one another. And that's, that's the beauty of it. Um, and I am not a professional videographer. Don't ever claim to be. I know my videos are not they're not going to be up for any awards or anything. Uh, but I just do what makes me happy and I just go with it. So, you know, I don't plan out anything. I don't, I hit the record button and that's what it is. So there's no need to frolic <laughs> or pretend I, I, you just hit record. And if you, you, you are yourself, then that's the beauty of it. And that's, I love Daniel because Daniel is himself. Tacky is me. He is himself. And I love that. I adore that. So keep doing you, Daniel. And people who want to say negative things, well, they can just go and they can live their miserable lives because life is way too short. And the amount of time that it took them to write something negative, they could have taken that energy and wrote something positive to one of their one of the YouTube people that they like. There's no it's so stupid. It's just so stupid. Anyway, look at these Shawnee hoot owls. They are made by Shawnee. These are the winking owls. This is where Barb Barb winking owl antiques. Mm -mm -mm. My videography has vastly improved. Yeah. Well, you know, Jamie, I didn't edit. I didn't know how to edit. I, it, there was no editing done on any of my videos in the beginning and my camera was the wrong way. I mean, we all start somewhere, you know, we all start somewhere. The, the, um, the editing software that I use is Filmora. I do pay for the, um, the paid version. I can't remember how much it is, but it, it isn't very much. They do have a free version. It is, listen, if a Misty can figure it out, anybody can figure it out. It isn't that hard. 
the nice thing about Filmora is that they do have a lot of videos that you can watch, like training videos that you can watch. So that, I haven't watched any of them because I don't have the patience for that. Maybe my editing would be better, but I'm like, nah, I, I can figure it out. But you can watch the training videos. I have a reseller question. What do you what do you do if they don't send their info? How long do you wait? Um, I give my customers a week. Um, if I don't, if I don't that and the problem with the problem with so many live sales is that people will sometimes forget that they bought something from like they might might have watched three live sales that day and they bought something from all three people. So. They have forgotten. However, you have to run your business and I wait a week. I give my customers a week. If I don't hear back from someone in a week, then it goes up for sale. I usually don't, depending on what it is, I may not put it back for, up for sale that next week. I might wait a couple weeks. Um, but I think, a, I think a week is plenty of time. I will, um, I, I mean, I do have people that I have their information and they maybe haven't paid their invoice yet, but sometimes miscommunication can happen. And so I will go into PayPal and I'll copy the link and I'll just email them the link to the invoice because they get emails and sometimes the email might get lost. So you can remind them just by sending them the link and then they can pay. But I think a week is plenty of time um to give somebody to pay but it's always a good idea to if you are watching live sales even if you're like i think i've sent misty my information but i'm not sure just go ahead and send it again um it, it isn't it's it's always helpful it's always helpful to just go ahead and send the information i do have a customer book that i've compiled and Sometimes people will ask me if I have certain people's email or their addresses, and I do. But it's it's always a good idea to just go ahead and send all your information, your actual name, your YouTube name, if it's different, your full shipping address, full shipping address, not just your zip code, um, and your email address, not your PayPal ID, your actual email address. That's what we need. Um, yeah, I get a reminder. Yeah, Joanne, yeah, you do. And we appreciate that. And that's why I think sometimes it's, it's, it's okay to remind people because it, they do forget. I love Filmora. What am I missing? Boop, boop, boop. The first time I sent mine, you never got them. Made my wonder who I ended up with. My P PayPal information. Me? The first time I sent mine, you never got them. Made me wonder who you got your payment. Did you update your address? Yes, I did. Yeah, a week I think is plenty of time. Yes, and if you do, the, the sooner you do pay, the sooner you'll get your items too. I'm going to be working all weekend because I'm having my sale tomorrow. And Mark and I are going out of town on Monday. So I have to get... I'm having my live sale tomorrow night and I'm going to be working all weekend getting everything packaged and ready to go. So if, and I'll, I'll say this tomorrow night too. Once you get your invoice, if I get paid by Sunday, then your stuff will get shipped out by Monday. But if, if not, then it'll get shipped on Wednesday. Um, but I have to get everything set up for my Wednesday sale before I leave because I want to be able to walk in here on Wednesday and it'll all be set up. So I got a lot to do this weekend, but that's okay. It'll get done. I keep a little notepad of things I buy. That's a good idea. I live by my notebook. I keep my notebook and I write things down in it. I write down if people send me an email. Um, so invoiced is emailed. Yes. Well, your invoice is sent through, well, at least through me, the way that I do it. And I think that most people do it this way. The The invoice is sent through PayPal and PayPal will send you an, an email. You'll get an email through PayPal. Yes, you did. I'm excited about that. Tomorrow's sale is everything. Most everything is was picked 
by by you guys last saturday i went live and i'm gonna do that again i'm not gonna do it because next week i'm gonna have my saint patrick's day sale so i'm gonna do that again where i'm gonna go shelf to shelf and you guys can help me pick what i'm going to sell it was very interesting because i i some of the things have been sitting on my shelf for a long time because i thought nobody wants i don't that's nobody wants that yet and i really need to get some of this shelf cleared out but people wanted that so when will you do your valentine's thing what valentine's thing all right i'm gonna i'm gonna do i have more in here oh there is oh oh we got peppy we've got cat peppy so we've got salty and peppy key cats these are nice big ones They'll get added to my collection. Oh my gosh. Liz Retros and Mr. Retros. Thank you so much. My goodness. I'm a, I don't even know what to say, but thank you. And I love you. I love you. Love you, Liz Retros and Mr. Retros. Um, people do have sharp eyes. I know. I was like, and, and I was even getting emails from people too that, I saw this, this, this on your, on yourself. So I'm excited. And I didn't even show all the shelves. I only showed two, I think two shelves, but next week is going to be, um, St. Patrick's day. You and Mark shopping at the bins. Oh, we're not doing that this year. We're going to we're Cause normally, normally for the past, probably five years, four years, my husband and I spend Valentine's Day at the bins. There are four Goodwill outlets in Indianapolis and we will go to all of them and go to Goodwill. And that's how, and then we would, we would end our Valentine trip at eating pizza. We're very simple. You know, we, we, that's just what, what, what's what we find fun. But this year, I mean, we're not going to the bins, you know, they, there's not a real big protocol protocol for space at the bins. So we're not going to do that. We're going to um, a little town that has a, a lot of antique malls and flea markets in one general area. So um, we are going to go spend the night and go to antique stores. I will be filming all of that. I don't know where we'll probably find pizza to eat because that's I want Pizza King. Pizza King is my favorite, so maybe there's a Pizza King there. Um, there is two Linda Barnum. What is going on? I don't buy. There's two Linda Barnums. There's two of them? I don't know. Um, oh, Pizza King. Oh, my gosh. Pizza King's the best. Oh, you got your Stay Weird merch? Listen, I'm Emma has been working on a project for her boyfriend, but she's almost finished with the new merch, and that's going to be the Vintage Rescue Squad merch. And it looks really good. So that's going to be, I'm going to get that. I told her I wanted it done by the 22nd, so I can, um, you know, show it to you guys um on the on the vintage rescue squad chat the vintage rescue squad lisa barnett i'm from michigan check feedback okay i will lisa or linda oh bye vintage conversation oh yay you're gonna wear it on your haul video yay the other linda b is purple one is from Arizona. One is purple. The other is blue. That's weird. Now there, now there are three. Well, it, all I have to say is that if you are a troll and you're using somebody else's name, we kind of know who you are. <laughs> so I would be doing that because you could get yourself in lots and lots of trouble. That's all I'm going to say about that. So 
Nice try. Nice try, but it's not going to work. Um, yeah. Oh, really? Are we in a parallel universe? <laughs> Mickey says he's he knows that he is not Linda Barnum. Yes, I would suggest that too is putting in, you know, a photo as your um your little emoji thing. That 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 does help. But Linda Barnum is from Arizona. Yes. Yeah, having great mods is is um is very very important because, you know, we've and you know, it 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 is people who are Um, they don't, they're, I, I, I don't, I don't want to get into it, but we, we have an idea and it's, it would surprise you. So, well, may, or maybe not. Avatar. Yeah. That's what I was looking for. Maybe Linda. Everybody else changes their name. Why not? <laughs> There's a Barnum boy in every minute. Well, I, I'm going to wrap this up. I have a lot to do today. I have uh, at least two haul videos to film today and some more shipping to do. Um, I, they're duplicating the pics too, yeah. Yeah, well, they don't have anything better to do. They live a sad, miserable life and it's, a lot of it is just pure jealousy. And, you know, you're not going to get anywhere by being negative. That's all I have to say. It's not going to get you anywhere by being a negative Nelly. And, you know, that's all I have to say. Oh, baby. I mean, that would be, maybe they really do have the exact same name. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? But I am overwhelmed and I thank you all so much for sending me things. I got a box from Los Retros. Um, the live sale is tomorrow at 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. My helper is going to be Mark. Yeah, Mark's going to be my helper. Uh, he's so excited. He can't stand it. Uh, but I will be putting out the live, or no, it's not going to be live. I'll put out a... Um, preview sale preview video that will come go up in the morning um and so i hope that you can join it's going to be a lot of fun and stay tuned it's going to be, we're on the 22nd is going to be the premiere episode of the vintage rescue squad and it's going to be should i just go ahead and make that announcement now who's going to be on the first one it's going to be me and michael the cult of vintage jeffrey and crazy lamp lady it's going to be a good show so make sure that you tune into that. Um, and I think that there is, there might be another couple sales that are going on at that same time. I will advise if you are wanting to watch the sale, go over to the sale and you can watch the Vintage Rescue Squad later because it's not, it's not a sale. It's just a talk. So go to the sale if you want to buy and then you can just watch us later. So that's just the day that worked best for me. You just swooned. Yeah, it's going to be. No, oh no, Mickey, it isn't a live sale. It's not a live sale. It's a, it's a, it's just a chat. It's a reseller chat. Yeah, no, it's not going to be a live sale on Monday night. It is just a four-way chat. So we're going to chat with each other. We're going to chat with you. We're going to answer questions. We're going to talk about all things vintage and reselling and YouTube and you know, all that, all that jazz. It's going to be fun. Yeah, it's going to be fun. I'm going to have different, Michael's going to be on with me every, every episode. And then there'll be two other people joining us um, each week. Starting on the 22nd of March, it's going to be every Monday night at eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I will be putting out lots of reminders. So I won't let you forget. But one way that you, that will help you remember is if you hit the little bell notification. That will help. Yes, March. March 22nd. 
Monday, March 22nd at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And we're not going on past 10. I've already said I'm setting an alarm and it may just be, it's 10 o'clock, bye, because I got to go to bed. I'm not staying up late. Hi, Alex. We went live at the same time. Look, I got my earrings on. I got my earrings on. Um, so my page said February 22nd. Oh, it is February 22nd, Karen. Oh my gosh. February 22nd. I'm jumping the gun. I'm trying to make time go quicker. No, February 22nd. February 22nd. February 22nd. It's in two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. <sighs> See, I don't have my, my notebooks way over there. I have to keep my my notebook right next to me. Oh, Alex. I told them all to go over and watch you. Yes, Lisa. I am having Jeffrey and I switched places this week because Jeffrey's going to Florida next week. <laughs> so we switched places because he leaves on Saturday. And so he wasn't going to be able to get all this shipping done. So he asked me if I would switch with him. And I said, yes. So I'm having my sale um, Friday, tomorrow at 730 at night. I kind of like my nice little Wednesday day. And I told him he can't have it. That's my day. But I'm going to do, I'm going to do Friday night. Because I like to have my Friday night. I like to have my night times free. So I like during the day because I, I, I'm all, I'm off the clock at night. You know, I try to be like, no, I'm not working at night. Pamela was watching both. Oh, that's next Friday. I don't know. Barbara and I haven't talked about it yet. I'm, I, I'm trying to convince her that she can do it, that she could do, I mean, I, if, if I don't sell anything next Friday, because Jeffrey's not, he's going to be gone next Friday. So I'm, I'm, if anything, I will be there maybe all, you know, through StreamYard with her just to kind of help her. But I think that she would be good, you know? So I'm, I'm going to see, I'm going to see what she wants to do. Oh, Jeffrey switched with me. I owed him one. He switched with me, with me one, uh, a, another Wednesday, Friday thing. So I owed him one. Okay, so now I am going to go. So I can, I need to clean up my mess and then I need to start filming these haul videos because I, I got it. I'm, I'm going to be out of town Monday and Tuesday. So I have to make sure I have videos to be, to be done. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to come to my live sale tomorrow night at... 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, I love Barb. Barb, she's just as sweet in, in person as she is on camera. And she's exactly the same. She's exactly the same in person as she is, you know, and Jeffrey is too. They both are. They both are. All right. Thank you guys so much. I hope you all have a great day and that you're being safe. It's The weather's kind of icky here. Um, but I will. Oh, yeah. Alex and Dee is tonight. Tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on um, the Thrill of the Thrifts YouTube channel. And um, Michelle, Comfy Cozy Living, is going live today at 12.30 Eastern. So make sure that you check that out. And I will go ahead and say bye. Thank you so much for letting me open my bathroom Liz Retros. And from Tina and from... Um, Karen or Marcy and Tina and Ellie. Thank you so much. Bye.